In this lecture, we'll pause for a minute, we'll change gears a little bit for a minute, and talk about exactly what we're doing from a corporate strategy perspective. Essentially, and this is before we move on to the very final lecture where we'll talk about portfolio action and taking some specific action. But in this lecture, uh, we'll just talk for a minute about what we're actually trying to accomplish. We are, if you remember, at the corporate level, corporate strategy level, we're talking about sitting on top of a, uh, a bunch of businesses, a bunch of opportunities that are generating revenue, generating profits, uh, maybe the most revenue you can, maybe not, maybe the most profit you can, maybe not. Um, you're not really sure. You know the industries. You understand how well people are competing vis-a-vis -vis their competitors in these various industries. You might have five businesses, 10 businesses, uh, 15, 20. Uh, they're in a hierarchy because you own maybe only a few, maybe four at the top or five, but each of those owns three or four other businesses. There's a large structure of people working very hard to generate revenue and profit. Um, and that all gets flowed from one business unit into corporate or one business unit into another. And then decisions are made about where to invest capital and the like. And what you're trying to do is figure out what you have to work with and how you can use what you have to work with in the best possible way going forward. Is this the collection of properties that I want? Do I want to change some of those properties? Do I want to modify them in some way? Can I get them to work together better? Do I want to sell off some? Do I want to buy some more? You know, so it's a, it's a question of now, do I have all the right stuff? Do I have all the materials? Am I sitting on the best set of assets I can get? And given that I have all these assets, what are, the, what are some things that I should be thinking about doing with them? So you might think about ra ranking your businesses that you have within your portfolio by sales growth or profit, how much they contribute to the total earnings of the operation, how much return on capital invested they provide, what kind of cash flow do they deliver. Essentially, they are bringing money into the portfolio management process. That money can be, you can decide on a number of different ways, whether you invest in a different business, whether you buy a business, you might want to sell a business, that brings cash into the uh, organization as well. How do, you, how do you think about all of these pieces? That's really what corporate strategy is about, maintaining the best set of assets that you can get. And they're not passive. You're active. You can go in and make changes and take actions that improve and create a better position for you going forward. You might have certain options that you have available to you, investing in going into certain businesses that are growing and putting more money into expansion internationally. Um, you might, um, going down these purple side on the, on the left-hand side here, uh, you might want to say, this particular business is growing. We can either build out new stores or we can buy another company that has additional stores and then transfer those into our ownership. Um, you might want to get additional R&D to come up with new products that develop in these various businesses that you are thinking about growing. You may also have to want to be thinking about, on the blue side here, of other ways to finance uh, your, using your financial resources. You might want to pay off some of your debt. That is, you improving your financial position so you don't have the interest to pay. If the interest rates, the short-term rates are high, so you pay off some of that debt, get your, in your assets uh, more strongly positioned. You might want to decide on dividend. You get cash building up. For the last few years, there's been discussion about Apple and Microsoft and how much cash they have and how much you dividend out. Remember, if you dividend it out to your shareholders, that means they get either additional dividends on their individual shares, which makes them happy and raises the, the, the yield, as they call it. But that capital is then not available for you to invest in new businesses, new startups, uh, invest in expansion or whatever. You don't have projects and you don't have it for projects internally. But it does make the shareholders happy. It strengthens your position vis-a-vis -vis the, uh, the marketplace. Uh, you might want to purchase some stock, which means that there's fewer owners totally. If you have a million shares and you repurchase 100,000 shares, then you have 900,000 shares. So that means the same earnings is divided up over, under a smaller ones. Uh, under uh, Bill, uh, that same earnings is distributed over a smaller number of shares, smaller basis, if you will. 
Or you might want to build up your reserves so that you can make a major, a major move or a strategic move. Or you may think there's going to be a downturn in the economy and you want to make sure you have a lot of reserves. So you're sitting back there with all these financial options trying to figure out if these businesses that you have are the right ones, they're generating all this cash flow, this capital. Some of them may be consuming capital, not necessarily because it's a bad thing, but because they're growing fast and they need the capital. And you're managing this whole portfolio, this flow of funds. And like we said before, flow of resources inside your firm as well. This is what the corporate strategy problem is about. Understanding whether or not you have the resources and the capabilities that you need and how you allocate them across this portfolio that is growing larger and larger as you go. Once you think about that as being the task at hand, when you do corporate strategy, you realize that it's not the same as business strategy. Each of these businesses is doing business strategy, but you as a corporate strategy, in a corporate strategy role, you're assuming the best, maybe giving some advice in business strategy, but by and large, you're trying to position yourself in the realm of possibilities based upon what you have from the capabilities, assets, resources, financial perspective, are we in the best position and how we can make our position, how can we take action to make our position even better? That's what we'll talk about in the last lecture in this uh, module seven of corporate strategy, how you now use all of this analysis that we've done, understanding your business and your flows and your resource fit, how we now think about taking some actions to make what is probably a very strong position even stronger going forward, what kinds of actions you take and how you structure that thinking. That's what we'll talk about in the last lecture on corporate strategy. See you